Welcome to the second of my Cybernetic Crunch development vlog video series. Um, so if you've not seen the first video I did on Cybernetic Crunch, then watch that first before watching that to give a bit of context. So Cybernetic Crunch is a game I'm developing in my spare time currently, tracking the video game progress in this vlog. I'm going to deal with a few different things. Um, so I'm going to the first aspect I'm going to talk about is because um, it's a problem I've encountered in the past, and it's still something I deal with a lot when working on these video game projects. Is procrastination and basically giving yourself the will to do these projects. So I'm going to explore that from the perspective of my Myers-Briggs personality type which is INTP which is introverted intuitive thinking perceiving and then also I'm going to just have a brainstorm I guess uh, live on the camera which should be on uh, but yeah so first um, I'll just do a bit of a ch talk about how so I've been working on um, cybernetic crunch now for two weeks it must be now and I've kind of got um, some basic things working um, you've got a menu some graphics in there as well which are quite interesting some video in place some media some sound um, I think I actually have to do now is build the actual mechanics and the how the game is actually going to function in terms of it being a game or a learning tool I guess is more would be more accurate um, so, first things first, um, and this is again ridiculously honest, but for the last week I've been meaning to do things, meaning to work on the game, and then just finding excuses for reasons why I don't want to do it right now, whether it be Facebook or you know, random Wikipedia or YouTubing. So, I thought I'd explore what the reasons could be for that from the perspective of my Myers Briggs type which is INTP because I thought that might be quite interesting for anyone watching um, so yeah as an INTP my core function is uh, I think is introverted thinking my strongest function so we're very good at mulling things over in our head coming to conclu conclusions and objective uh, what you know objective truths I guess um, second is I think it's extroverted intuition I think it's the second strongest function and then I have to extrovert I think it's uh, I can't remember what I said about it look this up cut this bit yeah so um Extroverted intuition is um, figuring out what the connections between things and the interconnectedness of ideas and situations and etc etc. Uh, introverted sensing is the third strongest one. Uh, so recalling previous information from the world sensory or sensory. Then uh, F E which is about being able to consider other people's emotions and feelings, which is our, our weaker one, I think. That's probably a simplification, but anyway. So, yeah, it's been a crazy week for me, really, because personal events that happened in my life, I lost someone in my life, so that kind of hit me a bit hard, I think, and I've not really been able to concentrate on much apart from focusing on trying to figure out how I feel about it, I guess. And then obviously feeling that sometimes, and then uh, it's just kind of gone on the back burner, I guess, in a lot of respects because of that, because of me trying to figure out exactly how I feel, I guess. So, I should probably make this trauma somehow useful. Um, I think, and this is the process I'm going to go start going through now, 
as an INTP, obviously, I've got this very, very good at abstract systems and building abstract systems and evolving abstract systems of thought, which is obviously why the subject of cybernetics appeals to me because it seems to me like a subject which is deep in abstraction and deep in abstraction, but also abstraction unveiling a truth within the abstraction, if that makes sense, or something concrete. We're trying to figure out something concrete, so that's why I've the cybernetics idea appeal to me. So, yeah, um, I think next steps are going to be I'm going to map the systems and the game mechanics using whatever software. I might use Tyreno Builder and just pretty make a draft version in that, i.e., the process of developing on the fly and coming up with ideas on the fly. Uh, I might make another good angle to go down, which is basically how we do it so far, is develop the graphics and then from that try and create the aesthetic and the kind of game mechanics based on the pre-existing graphics that I'm creating. So kind of a philosophy of you know creating the aesthetic and then the aesthetics dictate the form, I guess, or the of the game, or the mechanics of the game. And then um, yeah. So what else was I going to talk? I was going to talk about um, the third thing. I forgot now. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll show you some footage from the game itself as pres at present. Um, it's okay. It's just, there's a few things you can click on. There's nothing really there of, of any meat. I'm hoping to create something that's quite. It's only going to be a short gameplay experience, learning tool experience, but. I still want to create something that's at least rudimentary, interesting to anyone who's got interest in the subject. So, uh, okay, as part of the any more planned with it, I've got hack up, set up a hack and plan, which is a game planning tool. I'll set that up, should be useful, um, which will help me plan out the different aspects of it, even if it's just at a very basic level, I guess. And yeah, I mean that's um, so ways to avoid procrastination. I guess is another. Sorry, I've gone, I've gone for the tangent there. Ways to avoid procrastination. Yeah, the main thing to do with anything is just to do it and really force yourself to get into the zone. As soon as you do that, your kind of natural processes start. You know, you start kind of connecting the dots. I guess, as it were, which is the extroverted intuition intuition sorry um and bringing that very powerful ti i guess in the intp framework into play so connecting the dots connecting those abstract thoughts into something that's actually concrete which hopefully will eventually be cybernetics crunch which is as i said i want to make it just a simple thing it's kind of like a side project for this summer i guess or for this period of the summer before I then try to delve into stuff that's a bit more complex and it's kind of like a primer really for my game design portfolio and for increasing my abilities in game design really is getting to create something very simple which can then once I get those processes in place when I have to do repeat those processes for something which is a lot more complicated I'll be a lot more prepped and a lot more kind of like willful, I think, to be able to do those things again. So, yeah, it's kind of rambling. I know this long, but that's our role. <laughs> All right, thank you for watching. Love you, Chris. Goodbye.